how do we find the integral of arc sine x dx, the inverse function of sine of x? There doesn't appear to be any substitution we can use, so we're going to use integration by parts. If you recall, the formula for integration by parts is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So we need to decide in the original integral what we want as our u and what we want to set as the dv. We should set u equals arc sine of x since that's what we would need to differentiate in order to determine du. We also need to set dv equals dx which we need to integrate in order to determine v. Of course we don't want to set dv equals arc sine x because then we would need to integrate arc sine of x to get v and arc sine x is the function we're trying to find the integral of in the first place. So if we differentiate u, we get du is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx, since that's just the standard derivative of arc sine of x. And then if we integrate dv, we get v is equal to x, since dx is just technically 1 times dx, and the integral of 1 is just equal to x. If we look at the original expression, we can see that the integral of arc sine x dx is equal to the integral of u dv with the values we set, and that is equal to uv minus the integral of v du according to the integration by parts formula. So with the values we set, uv is just equal to arc sine of x times x, and then minus the integral of v du just equals minus the integral of v, which is x, and then times du, which is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So applying the integration by parts formula, we get this new expression. We can rewrite this as x arc sine of x minus the integral of x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. We can see a 1 minus x squared in the denominator, and the derivative of that would be minus 2x. So we would really like to have a negative 2x in the numerator, which would allow us to do a substitution, u equals 1 minus x squared. But we don't have that in the numerator. So what we should do is bring out a constant of negative 1 half to the front of the integral in order to get a minus 2x in the numerator. So we can rewrite this as x arc sine of x plus 1 half times the integral of negative 2x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And this is just the same integral as the one in the previous expression because if we took the negative 2 and brought it to the front of the integral as a constant multiple again, well the 1 half times the negative 2 would result in a negative 1. So it would result in minus the integral of x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared, which is what we had here in the previous expression. So now we're ready to do the substitution. We can let u equal 1 minus x squared, which means du equals negative 2x dx. So if we bring this into our expression, this just equals x arc sine of x, which stays the same, plus 1 half times the integral of, well, the negative 2x dx in this expression will just be replaced with the du, because du equals negative 2x dx, and then in the denominator, square root of 1 minus x squared is just square root of u, since u is set to equal 1 minus x squared. So this is just equal to 1 divided by the square root of u du. So now we're just left with integrating 1 over the square root of u du. So the x arc sine x stays the same, and then this is just plus 1 half times the integral of u to the power of negative 1 half du. And we can do this because we can think of the square root of u as u to the power of 1 half. And if we're dividing by that, then the exponent becomes negative. So 1 over the square root of u is just equal to u to the power of negative 1 half. So to integrate u to the power of negative 1 half, we need to increase the exponent by 1 and then divide by the same exponent. So this integral is just equal to u to the power of negative 1 half plus 1, so that's u to the power of 1 half, 
and then we need to divide by one half, which is the same as multiplying by two. So this integral is just equal to two u to the power of one half. And then we need to add some constant c because we are integrating. And then now this one half and the two, when we multiply them together, they just result in a one. So we can just get rid of that coefficient. So this is just plus u to the power of one half plus c. And then we can simplify this further and rewrite u to the power of one half as the square root of u and then the plus c stays the same. And then we already know that u is equal to one minus x squared. So we can just substitute that back into the expression. So the answer is just x arc sine of x plus the square root of one minus x squared and then plus some constant c. So that's how you do the integral of arc sine x dx. First you do integration by parts and then you use the substitution u equals one minus x squared.